Hello, Lola's. <laughs> so I'm back with baby Nigel. I am struggling to uh, share his true color and details. I did a detail video, but I felt like when I went back to look at it, maybe I had too much light. I don't know, like it's like all the the really nice details of him was not showing up. So I'm trying again to see if you guys can see a little bit better if I do a little bit less light. So like, let's see. Yeah, so basically he's very, like I said, very detailed but it's kind of hard to show it's like i don't know it's like I can't, I can't decide which is harder to 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 show or to film let's see i don't know if it's harder to show the details on a darker baby or a lighter baby now i used to think the darker babies were harder to um show but then now that I have him I'm like well I don't know about that <laughs> so anyway he is Nigel I know I said that but he is the Willow Awake um, baby by Claire Teller and um, I hope that I am able to get me a girl blanket to paint um as well when the kids come out um i may not make the first set because i need to recover but i'm thinking maybe the second one i'll be able to 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 get it hopefully they don't come back to back because then i'm gonna be in trouble but um i just want to say Thank you to everybody that was very supportive um, during his live and the labor and delivery. I plan to do lots more role play. He will be like another little series that I will try to keep up. You know, how that do I fall off? But Miss Andy will be back and um, she will be babysitting. So we we will get her back in the nursery so that'll be pretty cool and i'm wondering if oh my god it's like so here's where i'm at i'm gonna be very give y'all my very honest opinion because claire has changed her paint style again and um so if anybody knows me personally and when I talk about the things that I like and don't like in some of my pet peeves one of the things I don't really like a lot on my ethnic babies is like the circle circle modeling type thing but he doesn't have circles he has but he has this skin pin pigmentation that looks like I don't know it's just the coloring I don't know I just can't even get it right but the coloring is just like crazy real so his face is a little bit lighter and kind of like gave me those like Taylor vibes because Taylor had her face had that lighter look to it and it was something I had never seen Claire really do before um with the babies and I really liked it but then he has that he's He's different from the way Puck was painted, but you remember how I used to go on and on about Puck painting? That's how I feel about his painting. I've, it's pretty cool. So that is one of the things why I want to be able to collect and not have to sell because you kind of, every baby has a different skin tone and it's like you kind of miss that when you when you get a new baby 
it may not necessarily be painted the same as the one before. Um, and especially with artists such as um, Claire Taylor, she um, seems to change pretty often. She never stays the same. So, you know, it's like she's one of those people like if you get used to one style, you know, she's always, I guess, trying to get more real. And that's, I, I feel like she did that with this baby. Um, so I'm really excited, really excited about him. Um, it was nothing like a planned thing. It's just when I saw the, the second prototype go up and then there was an auction. I, um, of course I, I ran and, and reached out because I thought to myself, oh wow, maybe I'll get a chance to not have to, you know, do the auction. But let me tell you something. If this one would have been definitely one that I would have went went for auction style too because his painting and it's and it's crazy because you really can't see it on camera. But I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, I'm gonna try to um get him in his um in the see if he can fit this outfit. Sometimes babies surprise you. If, if it look like I'm going to have to force it, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to kind of, I'm just trying to show him to you guys a little bit. <laughs> a little bit more. Um, and um, it's like my friends was asking me yesterday, now which one are you going to pick up first? You know, Noah or or Nigel, I almost called him Kason. And I'm like, I don't know, but right now he's my go-to because he's new, but ask me in a week. Um, and it's like, I love them both because I love sleepers. And it's very rare that I fall for a wake baby. So when I fall for a wake baby, it's like, it's a beautiful thing. And um, this one really got me. This one really got me. So my goal is to hold on to both him and Noah. And you know, I'm not about chasing, you know, the next best thing or, um, but it is nice to, you know, to see the the art evolve and collect, you know the 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 realist the realistic babies, but um, I just want to have nice babies in my collections that collection that you know are sentimental to me. Like you know, I let um, Lizzie. I shouldn't have never let Lizzie go. But I let Lizzie go. Lizzie was um, so much like my oldest daughter. And and I did realize when I first started collecting, most of my my dolls looked remind me of my oldest daughter for the most part. That was, you know, my thing. Oh, I need to clip this. I can't get this off. Where is my scissors? Um and I started feeling bad because I'm like, gosh, I got all these kids and every baby tends to look like my oldest. So, um, then, but Paris, Paris actually look like my, she doesn't look like her, look like her, but she has features like my second, um, oldest. And then there was a point where my son was saying, oh, mommy, you only get girls. You don't have no babies look like me. And then. I started trying to find babies that look like him. So that's where I'm at now. Like I don't I don't want to have to sell my babies, but you know, everybody know the dolls are expensive, so it happens. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. But he looked good in this color. Yeah. 
I don't think we're going to make it. But we might. Let me see. The arms don't look too, too small. Let me see. Like I said, sometimes we, we think that they can't fit something and they surprise us. So let's see. And I think if I put him on a darker background, you guys would see, but he is light. He's very light, but he has color to him. I was looking at him like, look at you, look at mama boy. He look like his father. Oops, oh, oopsie. So, um, yeah, so it's 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 a, a lot going on. I used to run, I remember when I first used to get my babies, I used to always run and take them for my mom to see, which my mom actually watched my channel. Now, I found that out, and I also found out that my cousin watched because she um texted me after my live stream and said she was watching. Um, her and her um, friend, a girlfriend, was watching, and I was um, shocked because I didn't know that they watched my channel. So, but I used to run and go and share my um, my babies with my mom and get her approval when I first like want to see if she thought they were cute or what. When I first started collecting, I don't do it really that much anymore um i sometime i'll send her a picture now that she's starting to get into collecting the dolls herself i'll share a little bit um i don't share my hobby as much with people i i will talk about it with my guy occasionally and stuff like that but even that is limited um you know really the, the real avid doll collectors i like to share with that's why I, I love my channel because um, a lot of time, although people might say, oh, they're cute, this and other, it's like that 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 subtle judgment that gets me. It, you know, it's like, it's almost like there are things that they say that let you know that they're thinking, wow, I can't believe she's spending all that money on dolls so to speak um and i mean even in the doll world his hair is messy even in the doll world you get that you know um and especially for me because you know definitely most people know like i'm not rich and i don't i don't make a lot of money but you know i do what i do i sell my doll i sell dolls to buy dolls that i really want and, um, you know, so that, that's, that's how it go. And occasionally, you know, my guy will give me a couple, couple coins to get a new, um, baby. So that, you know, that, that works out. I mean, he doesn't, and then sometimes he just give him money and say, do what you want to do for a gift. And it goes to a baby and, you know, well, he might not have totally meant to buy a doll but <laughs> it just kind of happens oh i was trying to figure out like how to do this but they crisscrossed it in the back and it snaps down so i'm gonna do that so he's gonna put it on this and i know time just keep going i keep trying to make my videos shorter but i guess i'm just taking my time and they're getting longer and longer and longer I'm getting excited because I think he can wear this. Look at my honey bear. <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't even realize he's on a Winnie the Pooh um, blanket as well. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at you, look at you, Winnie the Pooh, Pooh, Pooh. Hold on, hold on. We're going to do it this way. I know y'all probably like, what in the world? Well, I want to get his straps. I'm going to put it on the second notch so it can be 
not too big up at the top. Look at you. <laughs> and now he needs a um a pacifier. What you want? What you want? What you want? And then he has a nerve to, to kind of look like he's giggling. That's so funny. I don't know, guys. I I want to get over it. I want to stop the addiction. But it's just so hard. I You know, I keep saying I'm going to stop. And then something sucks me back in. Now I can't stop because now I have to... Have to sell some babies so that I can make up for this. So I was gonna go ahead and keep my micro preemie and like, but I decided the one that I just got and I said, nope, I, I need to sell cause I have him and that's just a bit much. So there he is. <laughs> And I was going to give him a bottle and everything. Okay, so we'll come back. Guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video with all your friends. And make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section. And read the description bar. <laughs> Bye.